Um, we've been on the road for a little over a month, four weeks. Uh, we have we have five shows left, two more shows with Black Tusk. We're playing here in Kiel at Schaubuda, and then tomorrow night in Essen. And then, uh, uh, and then they fly home, and we're gonna fly down to Kiev, Ukraine, and from there fly to Moscow, uh, and play a show in Moscow, and then take the train up to St. Petersburg and play up there. Pretty exciting. One of the most uh, awesome shows. When you can hear the crowd singing back, like over the stage volume, that that's an awesome feeling. It's really fucking awesome. It's a fucking great time tonight. It also means that the stage volume is too low. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> I see people sing along, but most of the time they're saying something that has nothing to do with the lyrics I'm singing. But it's it can almost throw me off if I stare at them long enough. I'm like, what are you talking? Dude, that is, there's no, there's like four syllables. I've got, I'm doing two, you're doing four. But, but I, I'm glad they're singing along, you know. Crowd response for this tour has been just so ridiculously uh, above any expectation. I mean, this is our first, we've, we've, we've toured over here twice. This is our first headlining tour. I wasn't sure people were even show up, let alone, you know, go monkey shit. So it's amazing. I mean, you know, it's like, I feel like you got hit, struck by lightning. It just doesn't happen, you know what I mean? So, yay, cheers, Europe. Almost every single show on this tour has been um, kind of overwhelming. Like London, I didn't know, you know, London seems like that's a big, big deal city, you know, and the show was sold out and people were, you know, try and trying to get tickets, couldn't get tickets, and the crowd went ape shit. It was amazing. Black Test dudes are just walking out and there's people still trying to get in the door and apparently it's there's m way more people here than can fit there, in the place. There's still so. hundred people in line. Yeah, people are getting denied and I mean it's and honestly it feels a lot better to sell a small place out than to half fill a bigger place. So yeah. at least for the for the ego it's better to be like, alright, 180 people sold out, buy them. <laughs> Somebody told me that at the show in um, Munich that they actually, the bar completely ran out of beer, which they said is something we should be very proud of because Munich, as one of the beer capitals of Germany, should never be running out of beer. So when was the last time you were here? We were here less than a year ago. We were second of four, and now it's fucking full house. It's crazy. Just talking to Aaron, and we were talking about 
you know, succeeding in the, succeeding in the music uh, business, I just didn't think it was possible. I thought the whole point of playing in a rock band was to bash your head against a wall until you finally you died. That's what I thought the music business was. And to have a crack appear in the wall, it's like, what the fuck? It's like the fourth dimension, you know? It's crazy. <laughs> When we were in uh, we were in Finland, I was talking to Brian about it one night, and he was like, if you told me that we'd play in Finland one day, I would be like, yeah, that, that could happen. But if you told us that we'd play in Finland and it would be sold out, people would come up to us on the street, I would say you're fucking crazy, you know? And it's so, it's just so awesome to see your friends doing this. It's, I'm, I'm so proud of the boys. But it's also true that he is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Turpentine or something. <laughs> this is the worst toothbrushing incident ever. <laughs>